ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் எல்லோரும் எப்படிருக்கீங்க வெல்கம் பேக் டு ஹாட் ஹோம் ட்ராவல் இன்றைக்கி நம்ம ஒரு ஈவெண்ட் போக போகிறோம் த ஈவெண்ட் இஸ் அபவுட் அ நியூ வே ஆஃப் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட் நியூ மோட் ஆஃப் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட் இட் இட்ஸ் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் யூனிட் ஸ்கை ஸோ வில் பி கோயிங் டு த ஷார்ஜா ரிசர்ச் டெக்னாலஜி அண்ட் இனோவேஷன் பார்க் த ஈவெண்ட் தே வில் பி ஷோ கேசிங் தி நியூ மோட் ஆஃப் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட் அண்ட் தே வில் பி ஆல்சோ டூயிங் டெமோஸ் ஆஃப் த ஆஃப் தி ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட் மோட் So let's go So left side la ungalku and the building theriyada and the brown color building anga da nam poravom அண்டு நம்மளை ரைட் சைட் பார்க் பண்ணுறது சொல்லியிருக்காங்க ஸோ பார்க் பண்ணிவிட்டு வில் கோ டு த பில்டிங் பார்க்குறது இஸ் த பேசஞ்சர் ஸ்டேஷன் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஹவு த ஸ்டேஷன் வில் லுக் லைக் ஒன் ஆஃப் த டிசைன்ஸ் ஆஃப் த ஸ்டேஷன் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ சி திஸ் ஸ்ட்ரிங் விச் கோஸ் ஃப்ரம் த ஸ்டேஷன் அண்ட் தென் தேர் ஆர் த பீம்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் டைப் ஆஃப் பீம் அண்ட் ஆன் தி அதர் சைட் யூ வில் சி அனதர் ஆர்ச் டைப் ஆஃப் பீம் அண்ட் தீஸ் பீம்ஸ் வில் சப்போர்ட் த ஸ்ட்ரிங் ஆன் விச் த பேசஞ்சர் கார்ஸ் வில் ட்ராவல் ஆன் ஸோ த சேயிங் they have multiple designs of the passenger trains uh, passenger cars um, and uh, the speed varies so most of them can uh, run at 150 km per hour and uh, there are some which will also be able to go up to 500 km per hour uh, depending on how the technology advances going forward so they will start with 150 km per hour as the speed and uh, they also have the capability of going up to 500 km per hour or more uh, depending on how the technology pans out so we're just going inside the passenger station right now uh, to take a test drive of the u sky transport into this station where we are running as i told you test operations and if you go if you follow me So Yuk Sky Transport has tied up with the Emirate of Sharjah to make it the first city in the world to use high speed sky pod transportation. Now these pods which can travel at almost 150 km per hour and some of them at the event today they also mentioned that some of them can travel at more than 500 km per hour. Uh, these are suspended in the air on steel rails. The pods are currently being uh, tested out at the Sharjah Research Technology and Innovation Park. Uh, which is very close to the Sharjah International Airport uh, Uskai Transport itself is part of Unitsky group of companies which was founded by Dr Anatoly Unitsky he is a leading scientist and a visionary in the field of uh, transport this new transport system includes string rail suspended overpasses and uh, rolling stock which include cargo 
urban and high speed intercity electro mobiles on steel wheels the cars themselves are categorized as passenger and cargo uh, cars the passenger cars are further categorized into u buses u cars and u bikes while the cargos are uh, you know categorized into u trucks and u cons So that, so that's how, that's how the car looks like from inside the vehicle. And this is how the road to the future looks like as well. So you are welcome on your own board of your car. That is, I think, the transport of future. This machine, this is state of the art from technology, innovation and other things. This machine can reach up to 150 kilometers per hour with, with very minimal energy consumption. Actually it moves, uh, battery moves uh, this machine. And uh, of course here, because there's 400 meters, we cannot reach more than 45, I think, because the system is then start breaking. Machine is completely automatical. So it means that there is no human input except of just sitting and controlling the whole system. And um, of course you can see that it's very comfort, no vibration, no sound. It's, you are just sitting and enjoying. And uh, as I told you, the machine is uh, equipped with artificial intelligence, uh, technical vision and uh, automatic firefighting system, the system of evacuation of passengers. So all the system that are required for transport of future, it is there, it is here. And of course it provides a lot of comfort, but the main thing that when, when you are traveling, it, we, are, we don't need the land. So we don't add congestion to the traffic, we don't add uh, land utilization, we don't need land utilization. And the main thing that construction of this uh, line is quite fast and cheap in comparison to other kind of transports. You mentioned in the, uh, sorry, your boss mentioned in the slide show, five million dollar per kilometer. Yes. So how much it cost here in Jui, in Charge? Around like this. Around like this. Yes. Maybe a little bit more because it's still testing. We, yes, we were doing different types and we were replacing something. Because always the first project, you know, it's more expensive. Mm. This is the general control system of this vehicle of this side. 
you can control all the way to now and future future which will be available on this site you can control it from here that is a general map of the on the site the, you can see two dots green dots yes those are the two vehicles which could currently be uh, in operation and uh, that is the line we are traveling right now and the bigger one is the future this is under construction and it will be ready soon uh, right now we have two vehicles two working vehicles one this yuko car for passengers which is a luxury vehicle and the second one one is a cargo way but it is a for test operations right now the because the bigger one the original one is a a lot bigger than this and uh, we need to test this vehicle so machines there which are available at present here are the, the same but more compact so that we can test it operate it in this weather and uh, and certain we can certify it So this is uh, one more uh, type of uh, board or car as they call it. I think this is a much faster uh, variant. So they have this uh, model here uh, on display for everyone to see and it's, it's a working model actually. It's not, a, it's not a mock model, it's a working model. So as you can see, every seat has its own uh, screen as well and the seats are very nice like very comfortable and uh, you also have air conditioning so it looks more like a small uh, small plane uh, from inside aircraft from inside like a private jet or something so it's quite nice the quality is very good so this is something which will probably be able to uh, travel at speeds of 500 kilo kilometers per hour or more lot of legroom below and lot of headroom as well very nice you got the chair control systems over here uh, on the screen itself so you can actually adjust uh, the seat as well the reclining position as well quite nice you can also have the seats heated as well from here if you would like so as you can see a 
people can play music and video from the control panel. So it talks about how eco-friendly it is, how safe it is, how comfort it, comfortable it is and how, what, about the cost efficiency as well. So that's all we have for you today. If you like this video, please like it and share it. Subscribe to our channel for more videos and hit the bell icon to get notified when new videos get posted. Thanks for watching.